Hey everyone, welcome back to 12.5 Tech. Today, I'm going to show you something really exciting, how to create your own free Windows 10 remote desktop protocol connection using GitHub Actions and ngrok. This method is completely free, open source, and best of all, you can recreate it anytime it stops working. So if you're ready to access a Windows 10 environment from anywhere in the world without spending a single penny, let's dive right in. Before we get started, there are just a couple of things you'll need. First, make sure you have a valid email address. Second, you'll need a web browser. Any browser will work fine. And most importantly, you'll need the specific workflow code that I've mentioned in this video. Don't worry, you'll find this code right down in the description box below. Just scroll down and grab it before we begin. All right, let's start with section one, setting up your GitHub account and repository. First things first, we need to create a GitHub account if you don't already have one. Open your web browser and head over to the GitHub website. If you already have an account, simply sign in using your credentials. But if you're new to GitHub, look for the sign up button and follow the prompts to create your new account using your valid email address. The process is straightforward and should only take a couple of minutes. Once you're logged into your GitHub dashboard, it's time to create a new repository. Look for the new button. It's usually green and quite prominent on your dashboard. Click on it to start creating a new repository. Now you need to give your repository a name. I recommend something clear and descriptive, like free Windows 10 RDP, but you can name it whatever makes sense to you. Here's the crucial part. Under privacy settings, make sure you select private. This is extremely important for security purposes because we don't want unauthorized access to our remote desktop setup. Once you've entered the name and selected private, click the create repository button. Now we're moving to step three, setting up the workflow. In your newly created repository, look at the top menu tabs and click on the one labeled actions you'll see an option that says set up a workflow yourself. Go ahead and click on it. This will open a new file editor where you'll see a YML file. Now here's where you need that workflow code I mentioned earlier. Head down to the video description, copy that specific workflow code, then come back here, delete any existing code in the file editor and paste the new workflow code. Once you've pasted the code, look for the button that says commit changes or start commit, click it and then confirm by clicking commit new file. Great job, your workflow is now set up. Moving on to section two, Configuring ngrok and linking it to GitHub. Open a new browser tab and search for ngrok, or you can go directly to their website. Once you're on the ngrok website, you'll need to sign up for a free account. You can speed this process up by using your Google or GitHub account to sign in. After you've logged in, you'll be taken to the ngrok dashboard. This is your control center. On your ngrok dashboard, you need to find your authentication token. It's usually labeled as your auth token or something similar. This is a unique string of characters that identifies your account. Copy this token to your clipboard. We're going to need it in just a moment. Now let's add this secret key to GitHub. Switch back to your GitHub repository tab. Click on the settings tab, which you'll usually find at the far right of the top menu. In the left-hand sidebar, look for an option called secrets and variables, then click on actions. You might see it just labeled as secrets depending on your GitHub version. Click on new repository secret. In the name field, enter ngrok underscore off token. Make sure you type this exactly as I've shown or use the specific name mentioned in the workflow code from the video description. In the secret field, paste that authentication token you copied from ngrok. Click add secret and you're done with the section. Now we're entering section three, launch and connect. This is where the magic happens. Go back to the Actions tab in your GitHub repository. On the left side of the screen, you should see the workflow you created listed. Click on it. On the right side, you'll see a drop-down button that says Run Workflow. Click on it, then click the green Run Workflow button to start the entire process. Now be patient here. The system needs time to build and connect to the RDP environment. Just wait for the build to complete successfully. Once your workflow has finished running successfully, switch back to your ngrok dashboard. You should now see new connection details that have been automatically generated under your endpoints or status section. This is super important. Carefully note down all the following details. The URL or address, which will look something like 0.tcp.ngrok.io, the port number, which might be something like 12345, your username, and your password. Make sure you write all of these down accurately because you're going to need them to connect. Now for step nine, connect via RDP client. On your local computer, open Remote Desktop Connection. You can easily find this by searching for RDP in your Start menu. In the Computer field, enter the URL and port in this format. 
the URL followed by a colon and then the port number, so it should look something like 0.tcp.ngrok.io colon 12345. Click Connect. When you're prompted for credentials, enter the username and password that you got from the NGROC dashboard. If you see any security certificate warnings, just accept them. This is normal for remote desktop connections. Finally, Section 4, Testing and Verification. Congratulations, you should now be logged into your remote Windows 10 desktop. Let's make sure everything is working properly. First, Open the browser inside your remote desktop and run a speed test. You can use any speed test website like speedtest.net to check your connection quality. Next, try downloading or uploading some files to ensure the file system is working correctly and you have proper access. Now, here's an important troubleshooting note. Since these are free instances, they often time out or reset after a period of inactivity. If your RDP connection stops working, don't panic. Simply go back to the GitHub Actions tab in your repository and run the workflow again. This will create a fresh new session with new connection details, and you'll be back up and running in no time. And that's it. You now have your very own free Windows 10 RDP that you can access from anywhere. This is perfect for testing software, running applications remotely, or just having a Windows environment available whenever you need it. The best part is that since you know how to set this up, you can recreate it anytime, and you can even create multiple instances if you need them. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another tech tutorial. If you have any questions or run into any issues, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, make sure to check out all the links in the description. I've got a WhatsApp channel, Telegram groups, and several other platforms where we share even more tech content and tips. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep learning, keep exploring, and stay tech-savvy.